always stinks because I knew I had to do shows the next day and everyone's like, oh, you'll sleep on the plane. And uh, I'm like, yeah, I'll sleep on the plane. But sleep on the plane doesn't mean sleep on the plane. Sleep on the plane means get drunk on tiny bottles of booze and then be furious for four hours and hung over when you arrive. And I got here and I had this terrible crick in my neck and I felt like crap. I was like, I gotta, what, I gotta do something about this. And I went to the hotel and I was like, let me, you know, I'd like to get a massage. And uh, this woman was doing this thing called pressure point massage, which is where they find the most painful part on your body and then they, uh, they take their hand and they made it into a, a tiny little meat dagger. And then they just, ah! you feel better now? Ah! And dig it out like a melon baller with their fingernails, it's awesome. And uh, so the, I have a crick in my neck and this woman is literally like three knuckles deep into my cranium and she's pressing away and she's like, uh, relax. I'm like, bitch, you're touching my brain. I smell toast right now. Come on, pull out for a minute, pull out. Let's talk about it, pull out. It's just like high school, right? <laughs> oh, like I'm the only one. She goes, well, I'm separating the muscles so I can get to the ones underneath. <laughs> Why, did you drop change in there? <laughs> Why don't you focus on the muscles you can see instead of the ones that are holding in my guts and my soul? How about that? <laughs> it sucks. All kinds of weird stuff started happening when I turned 30, like, I just don't know if I like being a grown-up. I don't know. I, you know what's weird? I feel like things, things just change that you have no control over. Like, you have weird injuries that crop up. Like, you never hear about a 25-year-old, like, hurting themselves lifting a box. You turn 30, and you just, you, you injure yourself just sitting around the house. You know what I mean? Like, hey, what'd you do to your neck? What happened to you? How'd you hurt yourself putting away groceries? I lifted a case of soda, and now when I pee, there's blood. I don't know how that happened. How did you, how did you slip your disc on the toilet? Apparently, I need to get more fiber. That was alarming. <laughs> but the problem is that in your head, you always, you stick at one age. Don't you find that about yourself? Like in your head, you're always the same age. You're just sticking at 25 and your body's like way down the road. You know what I mean? And we all do it. You know, we're all like, yeah, man, I'm 25. Let's do some shots and listen to Foo Fighters get in a bar fight. Ow! And everybody else is like, Grandma, you need to lie down. <laughs> I don't have any kids. I know some of you are thinking, good. <laughs> I don't know, you know, it's funny. Um, I've been married for a long time, but I, I just don't, I, I don't have that thing that we're supposed to feel, like girls are supposed to feel the thing, you know, the thing that women feel about babies, the thing where you feel like you want to pee out a piano. I don't feel that. I don't know why that is. And, uh, and I don't know, I've been practicing on my, on my sister's kids, which is nice. She's got adorable kids. I take them out all the time. And here's the problem, I'm worried my kids might fight. Because my sister and I fought a lot when we were kids. And I'm terrified my kids will fight. My sister and I didn't fight like, give me back my dolly. We fought like, I'll cut you in the night, bitch. That's, <laughs> that's very alarming. And I don't think I've even gotten over some of the trauma I experienced with my sister as a child. Like I take care of her kids all the time. And I had them at the movies the other day. And I bought them everything they wanted because I will buy affection. I am not above it. I was like, here's a 20. Do you love auntie? How about a 50? You love auntie now? God damn, you're gonna be like a lawyer or something like that. Wow, you're here to drive a tough bargain. And I got him everything, popcorn and candy and chocolate. And, and I got the little one a giant Mountain Dew. She was like, this soda make me feel funny. I was like, oh, wait about a minute. It's gonna kick in, it's gonna be good. That auntie put some Red Bull in that business. Ow, oh, yeah. And after the movie, I took them both back to my sister's house and I picked them both up by their feet and I shook them all around and I threw them in the front door. <laughs> the first thing my sister's oldest daughter said to her was, Mommy, I don't feel so <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> That's what peeing in my bunk bed when you were six, bitch! <laughs> I told you I'd get you back. Mm -hmm. Only took me 25 years. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. How many times do Chinese grocers have to watch white people hold things up and say, dude, <laughs> what is that? Come on, eat it. You're high. Eat it. It's food. Uh, Mr. Regan, jot down your confirmation code. It's B as in boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> P as in Paul. Slow down. <laughs>